All right, this is question six from uh, 2007 form B of the Calc BC exam. Um, let's see what we can do with it. Um, the first part of this question is just a lot of writing. Um, so we have to write the, uh, the uh, Taylor series for this function centered at zero, uh, which uses one of the known functions that we have. Uh, I'm actually gonna jump ahead. Um, so we have to know that that's true, but we do know that that's true. So uh, what I do is my straight substitution here, um, and you can see I'm just replacing every u above with negative x over 3, and lots and lots of writing, but anyway, I get to this, can barely fit it on the screen, dot dot dot, can't actually fit on the screen, um, so I'm going to simplify that, and you can see that it alternates again, which would be good if... Um, you know, if we were looking for error later on, no, nah, that would be for a positive value of x. Um, but anyway, uh, it's not actually going to come up. So that's e to the negative x over 3. So the next thing I do is I multiply that series by 6. And uh, I don't know, not a lot going on here. Tons of writing other than that. Um, so knowing the series is really important. e to the x comes up frequently. Uh, Sine, cosine, 1 over 1 minus x, make sure you know all of those. Um, all right, on to the next question. So the next question is um, your basic integral. So we're going to integrate f of t from 0 to x. Um, so that, actually, I'm going to skip ahead where I write it out. So literally, I'm replacing f of t with um, the series that I found in the previous part. Changing all the x's that I had in the previous series to t's so that I can use the dummy variable to integrate from 0 to x. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is integrate that term by term. So we're just using the power rule on each term. So it's, it's not difficult, it's just annoying. And um, don't forget to do the general term. So we have this. That. Now what we need to do is evaluate that from 0 to x. Um, evaluating at zero makes the entire thing just go away. Um, so we don't need a plus c because it's actually a definite integral. Um, and then when we uh, evaluate at x, it's really the same as just changing every t u c to x. Um, so I think I'm actually going to skip ahead. So I get to there. Uh, and that's actually the answer to part b. Uh, part c is a little weird. Um, the first thing you have to do is you have to recognize that the function they're giving you, h of x, um, is actually just the series for e. So h of x is just e, uh, e to the x. If you don't recognize that, I'm not sure what you're going to do, but uh, you're required to remember it, so make sure you do that. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to find f prime of x. Um, now I'm using f of x. I'm not using the series definitions anymore. So it's like we went from a function to a series, now we're going from a series to a function. Um, so there's f prime of x, um, but the problem tells me that I need... Um, uh, k times f prime of a of x. So k times f prime of a of x is just going to be k times this thing. So negative 2k e to the negative a x over 3. Um, and finally, we get to the part with the equation. So uh, this is h of x equals k times f prime of a of x. Just a lot of manipulations. Um, and this leads us to two equations. So the first equation is negative 2k equals 1. Um, and that's from the coefficients, so you can see the uh, the 1 there in front of e to the x, and the negative 2k. So those have to be equal, if these things are equal, which means k is negative 1 half. Um, and then a second equation is going to come from the coefficient of x in each part. So we can see it there, see it there, and we solve that to get negative 3. And that's all there is to it to this problem. So not really a big deal, lots and lots and lots of symbol manipulations. Um, so I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.